Today we are baking a linzer tart. This is really easy. Virtually everybody can do that. Even I? <laughs> yeah, even you. Let's start. So, here's the list of ingredients. Butter, sugar, flour, hazelnuts, spices, southern fruits, lemon peel, eggs and a filling. Usually the filling is made of red or black currant marmalade. So, for the short crust pastry of the Linzer tart, if you're going to knead the pastry, you put these three ingredients on the work surface. Add the sugar and the hazelnuts. So, the historic Linzer tart was made with almonds, but nowadays mostly hazelnuts are used. But make sure you use roasted hazelnuts, because they taste of nugget and are really delicious. Well, I'm already curious. Now we make a hole in the middle. Hmm, like this? Yes, that's right. We add the butter, cut in small pieces. The butter carries the spices flavor and you can't do without it. Margarine doesn't make a linzer tart as good as it should be. Well, that's a nice lot. And then we make a hole in the middle again, so that we can add the yolks. Right into the hole? Yes, but only the yolks. Take this to crack the eggs. Let's see if I can do that. And what makes the linzer tart so delicious? The spices. A teaspoonful of cloves and a teaspoonful of cinnamon. Just add everything? Spread it out a little. It's the spices and the lemon peel that make the linzer tart a truly exotic and precious pastry that only the aristocracy and the rich bourgeois could afford. And today we can all afford it. Yes, thank goodness. And finally we add a dash of rum, about three tablespoons. Well, good, that's all right, perfect. Now we start to knead from the middle to the edge. You mean from the edge to the middle, right? Uh, from the edge to the middle, sure. Instead of kneading the pastry by hand, you could use a kitchen mixer. Then you could just add all the ingredients and mix them for two to three minutes. It wouldn't take any longer. You would just use a normal mixer or would you use something special? Well, the dough hooks that are delivered with every blender. Knead it until you can't see the butter anymore. Then it's ready. So, I think the pastry looks fine now. Yeah, we wrap it in cling film, cover it up completely and let it rest in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Now we are starting to form the tart. Unwrap the pastry. Really, here it is still a bit thin. When you add the filling, it is really important that one centimeter of the pastry is left uncovered on the edges. The marmalade makes the tart moist. And how thick must the filling be, approximately? You can add some more. The pastry should not show through. That would be too little marmalade. Best is self-made marmalade. When Linz was European capital of culture, there was a huge Linzer tart competition in the Passage city centre for everybody. 133 tarts were handed in. So many took part in the competition. And it was such an overwhelming picture, because every tart looked different. But I do like this as well. Just one more to go. 
not one on top of the other. That's not so good. Hmm, this is from my mother's box of tricks. Very nice. The tart is now ready for baking. There is still an opportunity to posh it up. You could spread some almond slices over it. The lattice pattern speaks for itself. If you don't have almond slices on top, you could dust it with some icing sugar. But don't take too much. Our tart is finished.